Hey, what's up guys? Um, been a while. It's a cold fall Texas day here in Tuscola, Texas. It's freezing outside. But, uh, did a little kit here. My previous uh, video, I showed that they had a grain elevator. It's supposed to be uh, concrete and all that other stuff, but uh, weathered it. Did all this. Got to get some little spacers in here because my Cato track, it's got a little bit of a high rise there. But I'm going to make all this cement platform. Not really sure that I'm going to put it right there. Just kind of got it there to see how it looks. But uh, yeah, I did some pretty good detailing on it with some paint from the dollar store, really. Uh, nothing fancy. I mean, looks pretty good. We're weathering. I'm not really all into weathering and stuff, but uh, I guess once I get into it, I'm I'm really getting into it and trying to figure out new paint schemes and stuff like that. But, uh, kind of looks really mustardy yellow on video, but here in person, it's not that yellow. But everything's still the same. Had a day off due to weather. So, really didn't have much time to do any railroading today. Uh, ordered a couple more things in the mail. Uh, got this right here. Western flood loader. Which brings to mind, I had a leak today from all the rain. Had water come all in through here, up on here, dried it off. But everything's going good. And we have a derail right now. Uh, go ahead and stop this. That's not good. But yeah, that's how it's going. Got this off eBay, little dummy engine. Pretty nice. Gonna do some weathering. Still gotta put the tanks on the side. Brakes and all that other stuff. All that good stuff. The small stuff, which is always fun doing. Did the rails, little handbrake, did the stack with the horns, but like I said, need more detailing. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> coal loader here. That will be the coal facility down there, or could be somewhere in this vicinity, in the middle. Not really sure. So I got that. I got a couple other little loaders I ordered that'll probably go right along the side over here by the tower. But, and that's that right there. For some reason I can't figure this out. So if you have any tips or advice, shoot me a message. I cannot get this one to turn on. Every time I do. It just cuts everything off on the layout. I mean, everything. Yeah, I really don't know what to do. Then, besides just looking at it the way it is right now. And, I'll show you here. Get these connected real quick. Bear with me for one second, please. Get this guy hooked. Okay, let's get these guys going again. So, like I said I got all my engines are running. Those are all good. Got a pretty good consist. That one's on. He's just idling down there. But look what happens when I do this. Shuts everything off. Everything. All of them are dead. I don't, I don't get it. I got this the same time I got that Devo unit, the BNSF, the same time. I have no idea what's going on here. And see, it just completely completely threw my consist off. So,
I don't even know what's going on, man. It's been horrible today. But, yeah. New engine, new kit, built kit. Need more kits. Need a heater in here, actually. Oh, yeah. Got a new shop light. Last one I had, broke. But I just thought I'd show you a little update. Not much really going on. But Like I said, if y'all have any ideas or any uh, kind of uh, tips, uh, please send me a message on here. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or or what I'm not doing right exactly. But uh, yeah, I'm sure all this will be changed here when I get a week off, which would be nice. All the tracks and stuff will be a different setup, I believe. So yeah, if you have any tips or ideas or anything, that opinions or anything that can help me on this, why this keeps delaying this whole thing off, um, just let me know. I right, appreciate it. Have a nice one.